Good evening, folks. I trust you are well. Well, last week, I had a few days in Fort William with my wife, Margaret. Oh, the journey up was very wet, and it took us through Glencoe. Dark Glencoe. It was wet, dark, foreboding, reminding me of its dark and ferocious history. Later in the week, I visited Glenfinnan and was reminded of its dark past history as well. Such history reminded me of the history of the human race with its wars, rumors of wars and troubles. Then the sun came out and the scene changed. There was brightness and joy. The sun made all the difference. And I thought of how so like the history of mankind. Day by day, we see darkness of life, fighting, disease, death, and all in between. There is the darkness of depression. And my, with this COVID uh, affecting us and still affecting us, people are in the darkness of depression. Then suddenly we are reminded of the brightness of life. For unto us a child is born. His name was called Wonderful Counselor, the Mighty God, the Everlasting Father the Prince of Peace. And the one who was born that first Christmas so many years ago was Jesus, the Savior. The one who was born was born for us. And when we allow Jesus to, give, <coughs> to come into our lives, he will dispel the darkness and forgive our sins. This is a wonderful change. It can be your change too, if you allow Jesus to come into your heart. The Jesus who came into the world, died for us upon the cross of Calvary, died that we may have our sins forgiven. And we're so grateful for him who gave his life for our sins. But not only did he die, buried, he rose again, and triumphantly, he is at God's right hand. And this is a change that makes all the difference to people in their life when they trust Christ as, a save, as their Savior. Uh, and it can be yours if you allow Jesus to come into your heart tonight. The Jesus who came into the world wants to come into our life into our heart and we want to live with us and say my what a Christmas this will be if we ask Jesus Christ into our life what a change in my life will be wrought if Jesus comes into my heart and the same we can happen to you dear friend a change completely in lifestyle and for the future eternity security my, I trust that you trust in the Lord Jesus Christ as your Savior. What a great Christmas it would be if you're trusting in him. Thank you for listening. Bye-bye.